All right, so we've all been there at least one time in our life where we've driven and we smacked the curb real hard and our rim got a little bit of curb rash. So today what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this curb rash and we're going to repaint the wheel and make it brand new again. And this is all you're going to need here to repair your rim. Start off with the sandpaper. This is sandpaper. It's usually used for plumbing, but it's going to work really good here for the rim. We're going to need some 100 grit sandpaper, some 220 as you see here, and some 320 kind of smooth it all out here with this fine grip. You're also going to need some filler. Um, you can get this from your auto body store, this with the hardener here as well, uh, less than 20 bucks. On top of that, you're going to need a glove, and you're going to need some scratch filler primer. You don't have to have it, but this is probably going to work the best here for your rim. And if you haven't painted your rim yet, you're going to need to, uh, unless you can go to the factory or the dealership and get the exact paint code, um, but you're going to need to paint it at this point. I use trim and bumper paint. If you haven't seen my other video, link's going to be in the description. So that's all you're going to need. So let me show you guys how to do it. So first step here, guys, you want to take your plumbing sandpaper and you're going to want to smooth this out. Quick side note, guys, it's going to be a lot easier if the rim's actually off of the tire. If you take it to your local tire shop, they're going to charge you maybe 10, 15 bucks just to pull it off. Maybe another 25 bucks is what mine charged to put the rim actually back on the wheel. All right, here's the fun part, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our filler. And we're going to take our little spatula here. And we're going to smack some on the plate. And then we're going to take our hardener here, just going to run a little bead across our filler here, plenty. And then we're going to mix that up, and when you mix it up, you want to make sure you don't get any air in there. Just kind of scoop it up, smear it down, scoop it up, and smear it down. And you also want to mix this until you can't see any more blue, it's one uniform color. And this stuff does dry pretty quick. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get it on the rim here. And I'm going to use my fingers here. I'm just going to put a little bit. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the best you can. And just kind of shape contour of the wheel. Don't worry if you get a little excess, you can wipe it off with your fingers here. But this is also sandable, of course. And don't worry about putting too much, because you can always sand it down. Once this stuff dries, you got to make more, so always put more. And then we're going to let that dry for about 30 minutes. And after our filler is fully dry, we're going to take our 100 grit sandpaper. And we're going to start sanding it down. So go slowly, because you can always sand more off. But if you sand too much off, then you got to remake the filler. So take your time. And your goal with this step really is to just kind of conform and see if you can match the shape of your rim. So start on the outside edge like this. And then just work your way around. Now we got the bulk of it down here with the 100. We're going to go back over it with the 220 and smooth it all out. Now after you're finished with your 220, it should feel pretty smooth. Uh, you shouldn't feel any kind of bumps, any kind of ridges or valleys or nothing like that. Everything should feel pretty smooth and uniform. Mine does, so we're going to move on to the next step here. And I'm definitely going to recommend they use either Germex or some kind of alcohol. Germex is about 70% alcohol. That's all I have right now, so that's what I'm going to use. Clean it all up. Make sure we get all the oils from our hands off and all the dust off, of course. And we're all cleaned up and ready to sand. And you'll probably notice little things like this here. 
Um, but if I'm rubbing my finger over it, this thing's completely smooth. So don't think there's any kind of cracks or anything in there before I do this. We're going to spray it with this primer here. So we're going to have this shaken up for about two minutes before we spray. And with any job you're doing with spray paint, you're going to want to do one real light coat at first. A few minutes has gone by, we can do our second coat here. Now, you're going to see little tiny chips here. It's harder to see that with the actual filler on there. So that's going to give us an indication where we need to sand a little bit further. So this thing really makes everything pop up. It's not a big deal. This is sandable, and that's why we're using it. So it's been another about five minutes. We're going to do our third and final coat. Honestly, you can put as many coats on this as you want. I'm just going to do three here because I do have some sanding to do. And the dry time on this is about one hour. Uh, I'm putting on some thicker coats than usual. So I'm going to give it about two hours and then we're going to be back with some sanding. All right, guys. And I know I said 320 grit in the beginning of the video, but I just ran out of 320. So I'm going to use 500. You can use either or. It's not going to matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to do wet sanding. Just get a bottle of water and spray it down. And lightly, keyword, lightly sand where you primed. So now that we got our wheel all cleaned up from all the water and all the dust, it's finally time to use our paint here. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I do use the trim and bumper paint. So what I use on all my wheels. It's super durable paint, lays down flat, kind of gives it nice like semi-gloss, not a full gloss look. Um, so I do definitely recommend it. Uh, I do have a video I will put in the description of how to paint your wheels from scratch. So let's get started. And with any spray paint job, always want to start with a nice light coat. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Time for the second coat. This one we're going to lay it on a little bit thicker here. Not too, too thick. Third one's going to be our thickest. We gave it about 10 minutes for the second coat to dry, and our third and final coat is going on now. This one is going to be the thickest. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, you can tell, no more curb rash. That's where we painted. And also, when we started, this was some pretty aggressive curb rash. I'm going to put a picture here to remind you guys what it looked like. This is also one of the hardest, if not the hardest rim I've ever had to do this to, just because it has this stuff here that you had to conform and everything. So uh, if I can make it look this good with all this mess here, you guys should be able to make it look perfect on your rim. So once this side dries, obviously it's going to be a nice semi-gloss, just like the rest of the wheel is, instead of that kind of high-gloss look over there. But that is pretty much how you do it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. And check out the other videos on my channel. My goal here with this channel is to make the highest quality DIY videos out there on YouTube. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments.